Advocates for domestic abuse victims applaud the U.S. Supreme Court's decision. Uh, today, the, the nation's highest court upheld a federal gun control law that is aimed at protecting domestic abuse victims. Sabrina Wilson has more from our newsroom. Sabrina. The Supreme Court ruled 8 to 1 to uphold the gun control law, and the ruling from the conservative court came as a surprise to some people who work with the domestic abuse victims. The vice president of the Louisiana Shooting Association also reacted to the ruling. Now, in upholding the law, the high court reversed a ruling by the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans that struck down the law in question. It is the second time in recent weeks that the Supreme Court has reversed the appeals court in New Orleans. Any firearms, um, we are extremely um, happy that they upheld um, this law. It gives an added layer of protection and safety for all survivors of domestic violence, um, including um, law enforcement, because when they respond to a domestic call, um, these are some of the most dangerous calls that they go to. I was surprised. It was it was a great victory. It was nice to see that there was some movement towards putting um, the needs and safety of survivors before gun owners. Um, we have a huge percentage, I mean, way over 70% of the survivors that come into our agency that have been a victim of gun violence. Well, I don't think that they should have taken a different approach based on the question that was actually before the court uh, in this case. There are issues with the domestic violence restraining orders with respect to Second Amendment rights. The primary one, though, that we have concerns with is really regarding the burden of proof for the protective orders to be granted. Justice Clarence Thomas was the lone dissenter in the case. The case involved Zaki Rahimi, who was accused of hitting his girlfriend during an argument in a parking lot and later threatening to shoot her. Even gun rights activists say the Texas man wasn't a model citizen. Bodian of the Louisiana Shooting Association thinks Rahimi would have lost his gun rights anyway.